Hey squad and welcome back to my channel and of course welcome back to yet another new video just for you guys. I'm trying to record as much content as possible until the end of this year so I still have a couple of videos coming up for you and today's video is once again you're not gonna believe it not going to be a haul so this is not going to be me showing you uh, stuff that I've recently bought but this is going to be a video where I show you uh, an item that I've purchased um, about a month ago and it's not related to makeup and it's not related to skincare it's actually meant for your hair um, and I'm going to show you this item and then I'm gonna show you how I use it and I'm gonna give you my honest feedback slash review um, after using it for I think like three or four times um, don't take me don't take me like for 100% but I think it's been like three or four times um, so this this is not me using it for like six months and giving you my final verdict uh, but this is I just want to say kind of like my first impressions after using it for um, like a couple of times but anyway to get right into the video um, I will show you the item that I'm talking about so the item that I'm talking about is this bad boy right here uh, I am not sure if you have seen this anywhere I know for a fact that I absolutely have uh, just about anywhere and everywhere uh, mostly I want to say YouTube and Instagram of course um, by all of the influencers that I follow uh, but yeah, I've seen this bad boy uh, online pretty much and if you don't know what this is This is basically I'm gonna put a picture right here of how it um, How the packaging how the box looks because I obviously already threw it away. So I don't have that uh, But yeah, this is basically a Revlon um, I want to say heat styler curler whatever you want to call it um, but basically it's something to uh, shape your hair like it's a like it's a like it's a hair um, I suck at this clearly uh, it's just a hair device that uh, basically is a brush and a blow dryer like two in one and it's supposed to like dry and style your hair at the same time if that makes any sense so um, because I do have a lot of viewers not only from uh, Europe, but also from the States. I do want to let you know that this is the first one So I want to say the OG one because they came up with an updated version now um, I've seen online as well, but I don't have the updated version one. I have the version. Let's say number one um, And yeah, uh, by the way, I just want to point out a couple of I want to say like the first things that come to my mind um, The size of it. I do have to say it's pretty big uh, for a for like a hair styler or whatever you want to call it um, And I do have to say when you hold it like this in your hands, it doesn't seem as heavy But after you use it for a certain amount of time um, This obviously depends on the thickness of your hair uh, The more hair you have the obviously you're gonna lose it for a, uh, use it for a longer time And I have very very th thick hair and I have a lot of hair So I end up using this for like 45 minutes straight and that's literally me rushing so uh, after 45 minutes, I do have to say it does get a little bit heavy. Um, but yeah, it's from the brand called Revlon. I'm sure uh, you've already heard about them. And on this second side, as you can see, I'm gonna show you it has um, basically uh, three types of setting. So the first one is the snowflake, which means cold air. So it literally blows um, cold air and nothing else. And then you have number one and number two. So that's basically uh, two types of strength. And I wanna get a little bit up close to show you the bristles. Um, please excuse the hair that's already inside. Uh, it's kind of hard to get it out. And I feel like in brushes like this, your hair always gets stuck inside no matter what. And then this front side right here has like a little, like I wanna say, like a like a hole like a dimple whatever you want to call this and i feel like it does make it easier like when you're holding to just hold it with one finger and kind of twist and swirl um this brush uh but yeah that's pretty much what basically a couple of um i want to say most obvious um things about this brush and uh another thing that i have to say the cord the cable cord 
is pretty, pretty long. So I feel like um, definitely long enough. And I obviously have this uh, European type of plug. Um, if some if you're somebody from uh, the States, you probably have a different type of plug or you have the converter Not even important. But yeah, um, I wanted to kind of give you like I said my feedback my review after using this a couple of times and um, I have used it on dry hair where I've kind of just like wet my hair to make it like damp and I have used it on completely wet hair where like I wash my hair and then I use it uh, I do have to say, uh, number one, it does leave your hair very, very smooth and soft. It does give you like this like silky kind of like feeling of your hair. So that's definitely something um, that I love. And second of all, it does dry your hair very, very well. Like I don't feel like I need a blow dryer along with this, if this makes any sense. And um, third of all, which I think at least for me, is very important. Um, it's much, much cheaper than uh, the Dyson um, hair styler, which we've all probably seen and heard about because I feel like every single human being on earth that can afford the Dyson got the Dyson. But to be honest, that's not something I can afford. Uh, and just for like price, price reference, uh, this styler in Slovenia, so I don't know about other countries, but in Slovenia, it costs 60 euros. And okay, now that I've said, I think pretty much everything that I've had to say about this styler, I'm going to plug it in the electricity and I'm gonna quickly, but yeah, I'm just gonna quickly show you what I use it and what effect it leaves on my hair. So I'm gonna ignore this side and I'm gonna do this side afterwards um, when I'm finished with the video. But the first thing that I obviously do is I comb through my hair and I haven't done that yet today. So I'm just gonna lightly comb through my hair and as you can see um, my hair is pretty straight because like I said I've already used um, I've already used this like two days ago I think um, but as you can see there they're like there is no curls no nothing so it's pretty pretty straight and um, I used to love straight hair but now I'm more into like the blowout type of hairstyle um, a blowout makes me just feel absolutely amazing like not have my my hair like fully curly but just like a blowout um so obviously it's very important to use um a heat protector at any times and at all times when you use um anything that works with heat basically but today i'm gonna use that also to kind of like dampen my hair so i'm just gonna do a couple of sprays along my hair just so i can show you how this works and excuse me if this looks at any point stupid because i don't have a mirror um basically you guys are my mirror today okay so this is me um with the damp hair so obviously what i'm gonna do i'm gonna section it because otherwise it's gonna be impossible so let's see i'm gonna show you on this part first and this second part of my hair i'm just gonna put up so that it's out of the way so you can't see it and it's not like bothering us and i'm gonna show you on this strain of hair i hope i'm saying this correctly i'm really not a hairstylist so these expressions are way out of my uh way out of my knowledge but yeah i'm gonna put it up because my hair is very very thick i'm gonna put it on number two but if you're somebody who has like thin um hair you can i think you can use one and it's gonna be just fine so i'm gonna put it on two and I'm just gonna basically show you. I'm gonna shut up because I can't really scream and do this at the same time. Um, but yeah.
All right, you guys, as you can see, my face is already red because I clearly get um, very, very hot while I do this. But I want to show you this side that I've finished. Um, so, of course, it looks very, very, um, like it feels very, very soft, like much softer than it did before. It doesn't um, feel so hard or like harsh, I want to say. And as you can see, like I got a little bit of more volume and I usually curl it like to um, the inner side, so like inwards. Uh, and then these upper layers, I usually um, dry outwards um, just because that's kind of the style that I like. Um, I don't know, to be honest, after using it a couple of times, I wish that it had like a stronger effect on the curling part. And I don't know, like I do want to clarify, I don't know if it's me, if I'm, I'm doing something wrong uh, in this whole process. So if you're somebody who also has um, this Revlon styler, uh, please make sure to share your advice and your tips. Um, help a girl out because I clearly suck at this. Um, so I don't really know if it's like something I'm doing wrong. I don't know if it's my part. Okay, now you can see the difference. So this is like fully, fully straight. And this one is basically blow dried. So it does have volume. I definitely can see a difference, but it's not something that like blows your mind um, at the same time. So if you're somebody who has this at home, if you're somebody who knows how to use this, has any tips, any advice, anything whatsoever, um, please be so kind to once again uh, share it with me in the comments down below. Let's help each other out because I'm kind of... Uh, maybe a little bit giving up but at the same time i don't want to give up because i already paid for this um it wasn't a gift it wasn't a collaboration or anything this was me purchasing the item because like i said i can't afford the dyson uh air wrap uh, styler but i could afford this so i went ahead and got it because i've heard amazing reviews and just amazing feedback from people but i don't know like i said if it's me doing something wrong or if this is basically what it's supposed to do and nothing else. Because maybe maybe this is what it's supposed to do and this is like the best it can do. Like I don't, I don't to be honest, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, this was basically another video where I wanted to share uh, my review, my feedback on a product that I've been using for a while. I'm definitely not going to give up. Like I'm going to keep using it and hopefully maybe like I get um, like a little bit better with it maybe. Um, I don't know to be honest we will see uh, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope this video wasn't boring and that it was interesting to you as much as it was interesting for me to make uh, if it was don't forget to give it a thumbs up and of course last but not least as always if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel make sure to do so and uh, I will see you in my next video bye you guys